So RCI is increasing their exchange fees and other fees again. Let's talk all about it right after this. Hello and welcome to Destination Timeshare. I'm Jeremy. And before we jump into what RCI is doing, increasing their fees, I want to let you know on this channel, I like to provide my knowledge, tips and advice to help you get the most from your timeshare ownership. And I also do videos just like this one, timeshare news and timeshare commentary as well. So if that's the kind of stuff you want to see, be sure to stick around, hit that subscribe button down below, and also click on that notification bell and select all, and you'll be notified whenever I post new videos. So let's jump into this. What is RCI up to? They're going to make your vacation just a little bit more expensive. Okay, so I'm going to show you here on my laptop where you find that RCI has increased their fees. If you go in here and uh, you'll notice that there's, hey, there's a little alert here. Great news, right? Click on that and you'll see here, please review the updated RCI week's fees going into effect on December 4th, 2021. And there's a little link here. So we'll click on that link and it will take you to, hey, here are the fees up at the top that are valid from essentially now when I'm recording this through December 3rd. And then there's a little link here where you can click on it and it says, hey, let's take a look at the fees going into effect December 4th. Now when you do click on that, it just jumps you down the page to, hey, the new fees going into effect on December 4th. Now I actually took these fees because there's a lot more of them here and I'm not going to go over all of the new ones listed necessarily because those are fees that were likely there in the past. They've just kind of now put them out in the open because a lot of those fees, like I say, aren't actually listed up at the top here necessarily. I'm going to just go over what has changed because I actually took the previous fees and the new fees, dumped them into Excel and uh, got them here on a nice comparison. All right, so I only have access to a week's based RCI account. So if you have a points RCI account, you might see some slight differences here with your fees compared to the fees here in this week's based TPU account. But it looks like they actually decreased the fee for platinum fees. Those look like they went down about $10 a year. And then obviously different amounts going for two, three, four, and five year memberships. That one was a little bit surprising. It was kind of odd that, hey, they decreased the fee, or maybe they mixed it up on the uh, page. Who knows? But anyway, that shows a decrease. Now, the enrollment fees, those kind of went up a whopping amount. One year self online enrollment fee from $99 to $159. Now, this probably won't impact many people that already own Timeshare, already have an RCI account, but that's just something to keep in mind. Hey, if you want to enroll in RCI, it's pretty expensive. And now we come down to the fees that have gone up. Not a whole lot here, but the weeks-based call center or rci.com exchange fee going up $10 from $249 to $259. This is obviously on top of any other maintenance fees that you pay for the timeshare resort that you own. So if you have a timeshare and its maintenance fees are $1,200, you're going to pay $259 extra on top of that. The deposit extension it's going up $10 as well for both a six month and a 12 month extension. I really don't see any reason why anyone would ever use these extensions because when we get down here into the combined deposit fee for 12 months, it's going from 154 to 159. So just a $5 increase there. And it looks like an $8 increase for the 12 month expiration. And that's really what you should be using. Instead of just paying to extend a deposit, you should have a number of TPUs that are from two different deposits and then you pay to combine them and then you get the extension essentially when you combine them. I don't know why anybody would use that deposit extension. If you're using that deposit extension, let me know because I'd really want to know why. And the guest certificate fee is going up $10 as well from $89 to $99. So maybe you're giving away a week, your timeshare week that you own. You've pulled off an exchange through RCI and you want to give that to family or to friends. Well, it's going to cost you an extra $10. So there you go. What do you think about these fee increases? It seems like every day there's something new. Every year when you get a new bill for your timeshare, fees are always going up and up and up, and it seems inevitable that they're going to continue to go up even more. Let me know what your thoughts are all about this down in the comments below. I'd like to hear your thoughts on increased RCI fees. 
Interval International hasn't announced any new fee increases yet, but maybe I should keep a little quiet on that. We don't want to jinx it because they usually announce theirs early in the new year. But there it is, the fee increases from RCI. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up. It really does help out these videos. Helps push them out to more people who love Timeshare. And if you want to see more videos all about Timeshare, check out the description box below. And for another video about Timeshare industry news, check out this one right up here and YouTube. They know you'll like that one down there. Be sure to subscribe. You can do so by clicking on my picture right here. Hit that notification bell. And until next time, let's make your next destination a Timeshare.